Terry Mays, the executive director of the Downtown Development Authority, and just kind of the director of all that is cool and happening in town. <laughs> That's a big title. Thanks. <laughs> Good morning. How is it going? It is great. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's a great day. How about you? Oh, well, I get to start out with Bart. I came in hot. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> There's came not in hot, meaning on two wheels and like hit the curb because I was running late. But. Your park job is fine. The car's straight. <laughs> Ish. Can you say that again? You came in hot. I know. I did not mean that. <laughs> That's why I had to clarify. It didn't come across no. right. But Corey, every day that I come downtown, which is pretty much seven days a week, I'm just beaming with pride and excitement from everything that's happened and everything that is to come, and, and you and your organization are a big part of that, what is to come? Well, summer is, people feel like summer is ending. I mean, the kids start school next that's week. Okay, okay. I know, I'm sorry, but it's not. I mean, it's not over. We've got, we've got a movie night on Friday. We've got a farmer's market event uh, on Saturday. We've got a car show next week, and then there's more events to come. So, I mean, we've got a packed calendar now through early October. So there's tons of stuff coming up. Okay, so this Friday it's the Sandlot. It is the Sandlot. And that's at dusk, which is a little getting a little earlier as we get deeper into August. I was in the so. kitchen last night. I'm like, wait, it's 8.30. Why is it dark? Is it cloudy? What's going on? That's what I thought too. Right, so you have Sandlot sponsored by uh, True Community Credit Union on Friday. So that's one of my favorites. Nice, and that's right here at the Horse Blackman Park, right yep. downtown. So that's exciting. Um, do people bring their own chairs and blankets and snacks? Are there snacks there? So um, Michigan Theater puts on the movie for us, and they will have free popcorn for anybody who wants it. Oh, that's fantastic. Most people bring a cooler and put down a, put down a blanket or some chairs and, and kind of chill out. So it normally gets a little chilly, so bring an extra yeah. blanket. I always forget mine. Oh, good idea. Yeah, especially now. This week's been cool. It's been great, yeah. You mentioned something about something cool you're doing in September to keep summer going. Yeah, we're excited. We have every year, um, we, we do these great food truck Tuesdays all summer long. And every year, um, the food truck drivers and, and the, uh, the attendees say, can you just add more? September is good, just add more. And yeah. we, we think about it, but it's, it's some staff time and we don't want to you know, kind of you know, water down the amazingness of the summer. But we're going to try it this year. Bart's wonderful wife, Karen, pushed a little bit this week and said, can you please? And I can't say no to Karen. It's no, just impossible. Nobody can't can say do no it. to Karen. I can't do it. Uh, it was Karen and Joe Hooper ganging up on me. And I can't say no to either of those ladies. So That uh, is a dynamic duo. I can't right do there. it. No. So we have organized the food trucks and gotten permission. And we're going to have an extra food truck event on Tuesday, September 13th. Yay. Wow. Same place, Great. same everything. We don't have any live music lined up yet, but I'll probably get there. So. Uh, we're going to add an extra one and just see how it goes. Everybody's been nice. asking. The food trucks uh, are really excited about it. So we're going to do it and see what happens. Fantastic. It's amazing how uh, so many food trucks have been added in the community. And m most of them are local too, aren't they? They Corey? are. We've had six or eight food trucks this season alone, and they're all from Jackson County. Yeah. I noticed a new one last week, and I can't remember what it was called, but I noticed one I don't think I had seen in the weeks past. Who was it? But, um, they were right on Michigan Avenue, but um, parked right there, you know, like in front of the JSO. But it, it was just cool. It's cool to Ooh. see that there's always a variety and there's more and more people every time. Um, we had a guest, some guests early on talking about farmer's market and how important it is to get you know, fruits and vegetables for you and your family, and the city believes that too, and you guys support that by having a farmer's market. What can you tell us about that? We do, the farmer's market's been doing great. I met with our market manager, Eli, just yesterday, and I said, how's things going down there? And he said, this is the most people we've seen in about four years. Wow. He's really pumped about the traffic. He said last, last weekend alone, some of our farmers actually sold out of produce. I don't remember the last time that happened. Nice. Wow. So it's been packed, uh, and we're putting together a great family, uh, family fest day here on Saturday, just a chance for families to come down. We'll have free face painting. Aww. A couple food trucks will be down there. Uh, Kona Ice and Baby Bear Burger will be on site. We've got some folks from the YMCA, from JSA, Jackson School of the Arts, some nice. fun craft activities. Just a great way for families to come down. We'll have some free recipes out. So, nice. you know, come check it out. Bring the kids. Do a couple of the, the free fun things we've got. Get some produce. Get a free recipe. And just see what the farmer's market can do for your family. And that's this Saturday. It's this Saturday at 9 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Now, in the fall, last fall, we were busy. You guys had all kinds of events throughout the fall season. Anything we should be looking forward to come October? Well, so we've got car shows coming up in August and September, but of course, October 1st is the big fall fest. And, that's, and the chili cook-off, gosh, I almost left out the second half. Yep. <laughs> um, and that's going to be fantastic, of course. We'll have chili line in the streets and, of course, our big fall fest with inflatables and games and crafts and pumpkin painting. Um, we're also excited because this year we're going to do a mobile farmer's market. We're going to take the farmer's market 
away from the pavilion okay. on Saturday, October 1st, and we're going to put it right up here with Fall Fest. Oh, you're kidding. We're gonna, nope, we're going to move all the farmers up. And we're going to, so that those farmers can get some traffic, can get a whole lot, all those people awesome. right there. And it just is a really logical fit. Uh, Corey, we're so grateful for you and your efforts. And we appreciate you coming and letting us know what we've got to look forward to. Always great to be here. You guys are so fantastic. Thanks for supporting all the, all the things we're doing. Yeah. The Sandlot. Have you seen it? Yes, of course I've seen it. You're killing you kill me, me, Smalls. smalls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Corey Mays, Executive Director of the DDA. The morning show wraps up after this.